Hey drivers, this is Andrew, Third Coast RC here in Houston again, and we're back to give you more details on the uh, on the new Humvee model that we've got in stock. We introduced this, unboxed this yesterday, and since then we've done a little bit more digging into this guy to find out what it does. We put the um, we mounted the gun turret with the ammunition on the top. Um, and uh, we, we found out a few more things. Last time we showed you how to open the doors, how the back opens to put the battery in there, um, but not much more than that. Um, piece where the gunner, this piece will actually rotate. You can rotate it by hand, but it's, it's not mechanically rotated. You can open it up. You pull that little catch there, and then the top opens up, and you can see down inside the vehicle. If you want to put a person in there, like a, a gunner, then if you had a temp scale model guy with some arms like that or with arms that move you could easily put him in there and that would look kind of cool along with a driver in this truck which it doesn't have but you could put a driver in there so I had the seat and uh, I think that would look really cool um, because like we said these doors are really nice they open individually with a little latch here you see when you pull this the little latch moves and in and out right there and then when you close it you actually get a nice little click and they're all the same all four doors behave exactly the same way um, so let's take a look under the hood the hood comes with these very realistic type of catches here so you pop the catch like that and it comes loose and you have to press down on the hood and then you just pull it and it comes loose we can do the other side here, same way, just pull this, it comes loose, you have to press down on the hood, it comes, it comes loose, and then we can rotate, the bumper moves down out the way, and the hood moves out the way, revealing the engine uh, inside the truck, and then you can go even further with than that, if you pull these two catches here, I'm going to do them one at a time. I'm going to do this one, just lift the engine a bit. And I'm going to do this one, lift. And then in here we can see, <laughs> we can see all the electronics. So here we have the light controller, um, the receiver channels one through eight is right here. Receivers for the, for, the, for the other channels are over here. So there's a lot of electronics in here, but it comes, this truck comes with it already wired up. Um, like that. It doesn't use all 16 channels in the radio, I'll be honest, there's some spare ones if you want to do additional things with this truck, which people, some people love to do that. Um, there are at least four or five channels in the radio that are not, um, that are not used. So we'll close this down and then we put these little, we'll put these little catches back on. Again, you have to press to get these guys to go on. Flick them forwards, that one's not quite on there right. Just get that one on there right, just move this to the right a little bit. And then we'll go around and we'll do this side. Put that one and push down so it catches on. Go back in place like that, still not quite right there. Just gotta make sure that you've not got these misaligned. There we go, we've got that back on there. And then if we look at the back here, we can remember we, last time we showed you can open this up. It's where the battery goes. We've got a battery installed in here now. Um, with these cool aluminum, um, I guess, trunk bed um, pistons that hold it up. And you can actually undo these little, these little pieces here. One, two, undo these two chains. And you can drop the bed down, which is... Uh, which is also kind of cool. A little bit fiddly with my fat fingers to get this back in here, but you just gotta find a little gap there. I go back in. Same on this side. Just gotta find, uh, get the little hook into the little space where it's meant to go in there. And it holds it in place, which I can't see from where I am now. So we might deal with that in a minute. There it goes, it's on there now. That side, this side's not quite on there right. 
push it in and put a little hook on here and then see where the little hole is there it is there you go we got it so that's that so there's some cool touches on this truck but the real cool things are when you turn it on the on off switch is under here and cameraman can you see that there's the on off switch there um, underneath the front I'm gonna turn the radio on and I'm gonna turn the truck on and um, there we go so the headlights well okay the running lights immediately come on so we've got running lights here that have come on immediately and then um, what we got here on the radio is kind of all kinds of different uh, things that we can do so what I'm going to do is first of all this here this is like a horn it's like a horn for the truck uh, if you flick that push that back okay. it's loud now you can control the volume here with this right hand so now I've turned it all the way down you can't hear it halfway up not quite as loud we like it loud, so we're going to turn it all the way up. Um, then, if you push the stick forward, the truck's going to start up with a start-up sound. So you can hear that now. Right now, the truck is in neutral. You can control if it's in neutral or drive with this here. So if we put this up or down, it goes into drive mode. This one actually controls whether it's in high gear or low gear. And we'll show you that in a minute. You can select either high gear for running faster or low gear if you really want to crawl and use the torque of this motor. Um, it's in neutral right now, so we can rev the truck up. Which sounds really cool. Um, if we turn to the right, then the indicators come on on the side. You see that? And on the rear. And on the tail of the truck. If we do left. You we'll see that the left hand indicator will come on. And the side indicators will come on as well. If you leave it for a while, it turns itself off. So you start it back up again. On the left side, you can see the indicators working there, and we can hear the click of the indicators. Now, if you go backwards, which is in neutral right now, but you can still simulate it, then you get the reversing sound and the reversing lights come on, which is uh, <laughs> is really cool. You know the way that this has all been done. I mean, this is this is a fantastic truck. You know, if you're really into scale, detailed modeling, we haven't put any of the stickers on this truck. There's a whole two types of sticker sheets that you can pick which one you want to put on here, um, that uh, that you can put on this truck. We haven't put those on at this time. This piece you have to remove. It pops out. You can just pull it out of here if when you want to put it back in its case. Um, you say if you leave it just standing for a long time it will turn the sounds off you just push the throttle forward and the truck will start back up again <laughs> makes a cool sound when it's starting up all right so let's put it on the ground and see what this thing can do we're going to put it down here so we can hear the engine going i'm going to take it out of neutral and I'm going to put it into, I think this down is low speed transmission. So now the truck will move along. So we can hear it. Normally for an electric truck, it'll be super quiet. But not this guy. Okay, this is slow speed. Up is for slow. I mean, up, puts in low gear. 
so right now it's in low gear so here it comes towards us it's in low gear and it has got tons of torque it has no problem at all getting through that long grass get it up this curve here the curve it comes right on this is full speed now I'm going to go full speed across the grass here on the low so that's on low low gear that's a full speed there we can still hear it running, I can still hear it running from right over here. I'm going to bring it back across the grass on low. Right. What we're going to do, I'm going to pull out, go out in the parking lot here. I'm going to put it on high. Now this truck weighs, I'm going to weigh it in a minute, but I bet it weighs close to 10 pounds. So now I'll put it down into the high speed gear. So this is how much speed this truck's going to have. I'm going to crouch down there, cameraman, and get some low shots so I can come past here. So this is now on the full pat on full speed. So this... It handles and runs really well. There's one thing it's not going to do is roll over. Honestly, you probably don't want to roll this over and damage this beautiful body. I mean, all the parts can be replaced on it. They're all available. And the indicators only come on when you go into full lock. Yeah, so if you don't go into full lock, then it doesn't. The indicators don't come on. And you don't get that clicking sound. Just need to trim the truck, it's just pulling to the right a little bit. This one should allow us to trim the left and right, I think. And then you can also do it with this one at the top. It's still pulling to the right a bit. One of these allows you to trim it. Yeah, it's that one, look. So now we're going a bit straighter. We just trimmed the steering. So now when we go in a straight line, it goes in a straight line. Something else you can do. So we stop here, we press this button here, we've got machine gun sound, which is kind of cool. We pull down on this, we get some kind of grenade sound. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Machine gun and grenade, full on assault. There we go. I mean, this is gonna, when it, when it becomes a bit darker I would think the headlights are strong you can see the headlights are strong especially the headlights on the side it's kind of interesting the sound system as well when you hit top speed it makes like a pulsing sound like it's hitting the rev limiter but it doesn't really you know the engine the, the motor is not doing that it's just the sound system that makes that sound I'll come past at full speed, you can probably hear it. Could you hear it pulsing there? You could probably hear it pulsing. Honestly, I could sit here all day and just drive this thing around. I got trucks that'll go, cars and trucks, fifth scale vehicles that'll go 65 miles an hour. But I'm having a blast with this thing because it just looks so awesome. distributor for, those, for these trucks in the, in the US and we are 
Imex dealer here in Houston. And uh, the price, okay, the price on this truck is going to be, if you walk into our shop and buy it, we do it for $5.50. And if you want to buy them and get them shipped here, they're going to be a little bit more than that because, you know, because of the, the weight, which just depends on your location and where we're shipping it to. So it's quite an investment. But I think, you know, it is it is really cool. And if you're into these military vehicles and you want something very different um, to take to your crawler club or wherever you wherever you drive, then um, this might be a truck that, uh, that fits the bill for you. Um, I mean, you can spend way over $500 on an 8th scale truck, even a 10th scale truck these days. Um, it runs on a 2S LiPo. Uh, we got a 3300 in here, just a 25C. Doesn't need a big high-powered LiPo, so batteries are not expensive for it. And um, it's turned itself off again. So one more time, we'll turn it back on. Take it for one last drive. We've got to learn to drive at scale so those indicators don't come on. There we go, around the corner. See, I turned too sharp down the next thing. And then I think when you're finished with it, if you press and hold this button. It kind of shuts it all off. And then you can reach underneath for the on-off switch, turn it off, and that's the truck completely off, and the radio off, and, uh, and and we're done. So let's let's just do one more. Let's just let's just um, do. A, I'm go, I was going to weigh it, but I'm not going to weigh it because the battery's flying. My scales on it puts on you. But I'm telling you, this truck weighs about about 10, 10 pounds. So if you're looking for something like this, then this is a uh, a real good deal. Um, you know, it's uh, what you get all assembled like that. You know, you can, you can buy these as a kit, but it would be a tremendous amount of assembly to do. The manual is really, really detailed. It shows you all the steps of the uh, how to put it together. You know, if you ever need to get in there and fix something, the manual is a uh, is is a great. The instruction manual is a great resource, and um, it's just starting to rain here. A few raindrops. I don't know where they're coming from. Um, but um, you know it's a Humvee it can take a bit of rain we can uh, we can ship these out to you if you're interested send me a message we'll we'll calculate the shipping and uh, and, and get one get what shipped out to you they come in this color which is the desert camo they also come in the green camo in the top of the line version the top of the line version has the sound system and it has the light kit in it yeah you can get a less expensive one that doesn't have the light kit or the sound system which drops the price about 100 bucks and there's an intermediate one i think just has the light kit and doesn't have the doesn't have the sound system or it just has the sound system and doesn't have the light kit. it's one or the other but mainly we're going to be stocking the top of the range one you know if you're going to buy one of these you might as well just buy one with everything and uh, and go ahead so it's coming on to rain quite a little bit harder now so we're going to go inside what i'm going to do is um any questions send us a message we've got more things coming out over the next few weeks so we're going to show you we have got a really cool h-e-m-t-t -T truck the big transport truck with a trailer that we're going to be demoing in the next uh, week or so that is that thing is huge yeah the length of it with the the the, the unit is this big and the trailer is about the same again and we actually carry one of our World War II tanks on the back of the trailer. So we're gonna be showing you that in the next few days. So subscribe to our channel. We've got lots of cool things going on here at Third Coast RC. Check us out on Facebook, check us out on Instagram, all Third Coast RC. Like I say, any questions, send us a message. And thank you for watching guys. See you soon.